Welcome to another example question about uh, displacement velocity and acceleration. I'm Mr. John from explainingmaths.com. It says a cyclist sets off from rest, so its initial velocity is zero, and moves along a straight horizontal road until she again comes to rest. Okay. The motion of the cyclist can be modeled as three separate stages. In the first stage, she accelerates uniformly from rest for five seconds until she reaches a velocity of v meters per second. Okay, so there is uh, a constant acceleration for 5 seconds. Then she moves with constant velocity for 55 seconds. So there's no acceleration. And then finally, uh, so stage 3, she moves with a constant retardation, so we, that's um, a deceleration, for 10 seconds until coming to rest. The first question is sketch a velocity time graph to show the motion. And if that would not be the first question, I strongly advise you to make one anyway okay so we have velocity time and the first part there was a constant acceleration so we have a line going up like that and that was for five seconds was it so you have a bit of a dotted line there and the velocity is a capital V then it says she moves with constant velocity for 55 seconds so 55 seconds there we go so constant velocity, a horizontal line, so that is 60. Yeah, for another 55 seconds plus 5, 60. And then a retardation, so a deceleration for 10 seconds until she has a velocity of 0 again. So that is going to be 70. All right, so that's the sketch of the velocity time graph right there. Question B, given that the total length of the journey is 300 meters, find the value of V. So what was that velocity over here? Okay, well, the connection between this graph and the uh, displacement is that 300 is going to be the area between the x-axis and my graph. So the area of this is going to be 300. And that is going to help me to find the value of V. Because this is a trapezium, and the area of a trapezium is the sum of the two parallel sides divided by 2 times the height. So the sum of the of the two parallel sides, 70 plus 55, so let me squeeze it in here, 70 plus 55, the sum of the two parallel sides, divided by 2, yeah, times the height, the perpendicular height, and that height is your value of V, yeah, so times capital V, and that apparently equals 300, can I squeeze it in, equals to 300, fantastic. If you would rearrange this now, so you do um, 70 plus 55 divided by 2 and then 300 divided by that answer, you're going to get V equals uh, 4.8 meters per second. So that's going to be your answer. That's apparently the velocity. Um, I hope that was useful. Check my website, explainingmaths.com, for all the other free resources and like and share if it was useful. Um, thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.